What's up Grapple Gang, Cartoon Cory here, and in today's video we're going to do something kind of different. It's still going to be Spongebob mistakes, but specifically in Spongebob specials or movies. For example, Squarepantis Atlantis, or even Sponge on the Run, the most recent Spongebob movie, so let's dive right in! I don't have time to wait in line! Sorry, but I can't be late today. <coughs> ah! Ooh, what the? Hey! Ah! <coughs> Sorry, everyone, but Mr. Krabs needs me. Oh, <coughs> Reporting for duty, sir. First up is going to be Truth or Square, which is quite literally almost a SpongeBob movie. This episode is almost over an hour long, but it's only really considered to be a special, a TV special. Now, it's a good one. It has a lot of good moments, but it also has tons of mistakes. So let's dive into the first one. Take a look at this. <laughs> SpongeBob's house. Well, hello. Are you okay? Did you guys catch it? It's pretty blatant. But when SpongeBob says, are you okay in Patchy's dream, the right side of this dude's pants is just transparent. It's entirely see-through, dude. Like what? This one is a pretty bad mistake, guys. Like the animators completely forgot to color in this part of his pants, which is ridiculous. But hold up, guys, there's more. Here's another mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch this one. There it is. I'm coming for you, square pants. I'm ready. It's ready. We're ready. Let's go. Now, as any hardcore SpongeBob fan knows, a big part of these specials is Patchy the Pirate. I love this dude, which fun fact, Patchy the Pirate is actually Tom Kenny, who is the voice actor of SpongeBob. Very interesting. But anyways, this next mistake has to do with Patchy, as when he's shaking around in the whale, take a look at this, his hand gets slightly cut off. It looks kind of rough, but this one isn't that big of a deal. This next mistake though, this one you guys don't want to miss. Roll the footage. Oh, crusty crab, oh, crusty crab. Oh, how I love you, crusty crab. Oh, 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 oh. oh, crusty crab, you've always been there for me. When I'm tired and hungry, I just reach out my hand, and there you are. Are you with me, people? Yeah! In that case, let's get some crabby pie! All right, so take a look at this. When SpongeBob sings, Oh, Krusty Krab, look over here. We can see the path to the chum bucket. It's right there, right? We can see it. The path is right there. But during this scene near the end, where did it go? The path is just gone now. First, it was there during this scene where SpongeBob sings, but then near the ending of the episode, it's just gone. Almost as if the animators forgot about the path in this last scene, which is totally a mistake. And guess what, guys? Here's another one from this special. Truth or Square has a lot of mistakes. Remember the day Sandy and I got married? <gasps> what? No. I'm freaking out! Mm -hmm. SpongeBob, do you take Sandy as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And Sandy, do you take SpongeBob as your lawfully wedded husband? And how? Well then, I now pronounce you Sponge and Squirrel. <laughs> play I've ever seen. So for this one to really make sense, let's take a look at a general shot of Sandy Cheeks over here, our favorite squirrel. So as you can see, there's this patch of tan fur on her torso. And as you can also see, it normally extends to above her chest. All right, it looks like this, this tan fur right here. But if we take a look at Sandy in her wedding dress in this scene, the way that her fur looks is just different. The patch of tan fur on her torso just doesn't extend 
spend this time. Like, look, here's a side by side and I'm circling the areas and you guys can kind of see the mistake here. Not that big of a deal, but let's head over to another special guys with even worse mistakes. These mistakes coming up are bad. SpongeBob SquarePants, you must wear the ancient crest of your ancestors for it is your birthright. My birthright. <laughs> Let's take this to the Bikini Bottom Museum. They'll know what it is. Next up is Atlantis Square Pantis. And this is personally one of my favorite SpongeBob specials. It's hilarious. They go in this like van that takes them to Atlantis. At one point, they even go into a video game. I'm gonna show the mistakes, but take a look at this really cool scene of them in the video game. Let me out of this thing. <laughs> What's going on here? I oh. No. Ah! Squidward, don't make any sudden movements. Help! Ah! Yeah! Dude, that's really cool. It's like really cool animation too that they did a shot like this. But what isn't good animation is the four mistakes in this episode. To be fair, the episode's almost an hour long, so it makes sense. But anyways, here's the first mistake. I was wondering if I could get a peek at some of your scientific achievements. Of course, Miss Cheeks. Look at all this high tech gear. What does this gizmo do? It's a biomass converting device. It can take any household object and turn it into, say, ice cream. I can show you the most amazing slash fantastic device. Behold, this grand machine allows the user to be broken down to nanostature. How's it work? Please have a seat and I'll explain. So just like Truth or Square, this next mistake revolves around Sandy, all right? So let's take a look at her design again. As you can see, Sandy always has this like square icon on her suit and it's always yellow. Well, in Atlantis Square Pantis, when Sandy says, how's it work? That square around the acorn on her suit is white for some reason. When as you guys just seen, it's supposed to be yellow. Here's like a side by side. Yeah, that's a mistake. And here's one that's twice as bad from the same episode. Take a look at this. Pathetic. I'm Patrick! I'm Patrick! 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 Uh, 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 I don't know what I like. Hey, look! It's Pretty. Yeah, did you guys catch that? Because this one is like really brutal. So when everyone is at the window after Squidward says, look, it's Atlantis. SpongeBob's left leg is just missing. It's kind of hard to see. I'm zooming in and circling, dude. Yeah, his left leg is just gone. It's a cartoon and mistakes happen, especially in 2D animated cartoons. But how do you forget to draw a character's left leg? There's no excuse for that one, man. But let's keep it moving. I've got more mistakes from Atlantis Square Pantis. Here's mistake number three. So many weapons. How do I choose? Look at this one. What a beautiful view. Eedy, meedy, mighty mo. I pick you. Now let's go. Don't let them get away. <laughs> this next one has to do with Plankton's arsenal of weapons. So when Plankton finally picks up his weapon, as you can see, it's red. Remember this, okay? It's red. But if we watch as the scene progresses and it gets to this point where he stops everyone in their tracks, it's now green. Here's another side by side. At first it was red, but now it's green. Weapons don't just change colors randomly, guys. Like, I mean, it looks cooler green. I mean, but that's not how it works. That's totally a mistake. And there's one more from this episode. This one is also pretty rough. Take a look at this. Is this some kind of joke? Where's the gas tank? Huh? The engine of this vessel is fueled by song. They're gone. Now to get to those weapons. Looks like I found my escape route. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Listen closely, guys, as this one's kind of technical. Now, when Mr. Krabs is trying to put gas in the bus, there's no exhaust pipe, all right? This is a big point in the episode right here. There's no exhaust pipe. They're also told that the bus uses singing as its fuel, so it doesn't need gas, and there is no exhaust pipe at all in this van or this bus, right? Well, then explain this, as later on, we see Plankton literally climbing out of an exhaust pipe of the van or the truck, which is totally 
really a mistake. They literally said that it doesn't use gas, so there wouldn't be an exhaust pipe on the bus, guys. This is just another mistake. This one's kind of funny too. It's like, what? But let's keep it moving and head over to another special. Hello? No, this isn't the Birdman of Bikini Bottom. Who is this? Joe Mama? Well, listen up, Joe. I hate to break it to you, but flying is impossible. I have to go now. My head just hit the ceiling. Huh? Hey! Look, Gary! I I think I'm flying! Season 3's The Sponge Who Could Fly is another banger special. It isn't as long, it only takes up like 20 minutes or so, but it's still really good, even despite the mistakes it has. Take a look at some of these funny scenes from the episode, and then we're gonna dive right into the mistakes. There's three in total, so be prepared, they're pretty rough. I wasn't even close with that last one. Propellers, rudders. This one's gonna fly! I can feel it. <laughs> it's working, Patrick! I'm flying! I'm falling! Okay, baby, it's mistake time. Here's mistake number one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I guess I'm not meant to fly after all. Huh? Huh? I guess it just goes to show you don't need a plane to fly. Listen closely, Grapple Gang, as this one is kind of confusing and you need to not only listen closely, but you need to pay close attention. So during this scene, SpongeBob's walking and we can see this little horde of jellyfish behind him, like following him. Now, eventually, some of these jellyfish help SpongeBob fly and he starts lifting into the air. But remember that horde of jellyfish, right? If we watch closely, just as SpongeBob is rising into the air, that horde horde of jellyfish in the background just randomly disappear. They don't fly away, they don't fade out, they literally just disappear. And it looks really awkward, guys. Like, look at this in slow motion and you'll see what I mean. It's rough. You know what's also rough, though? This other mistake from the sponge who could fly. Take a look at this. Did you guys spot it? Well, in this scene, there's a bunch of these like mini little SpongeBob's, okay? They're very cute. But at one point, they all start running around in a circle. And if we slow down the footage, we can see that one of them completely just disappears for a frame. They pop right back in after that one frame, so it's not that big of a deal. But I'm pausing again and look at this. Dude is just gone. Here, even take a look at it again in slow motion. Dude is there, and then he just disappears and pops back in. It's more funny than anything, so. But here's one. One more mistake from this episode. Launch air with balloons, fly away, inflatable pants. You may as well ski. It's hilarious, but in this scene, there's a funeral for SpongeBob's inflatable pants, all right? He loved those inflatable pants so much that he put on a funeral for them. But look closely, and you'll notice that there are two incidental 41s in one shot. Now, in the past, when I do duplication incidental mistakes, some people will like use this logic that there's multiple of one incidental. But to be honest with you guys, that's not actually how it works. There is over like 200 of these incidentals. Like, look, I'm showing the Wikipedia page. Look at how many of these that there are. Whenever they're duplicated, it is a mistake, guys. It's not supposed to happen. It's the animators being a little bit lazy. But I mean, it's understandable when you're animating a 2D show. Like, it's a lot of work. So I completely understand it. But just to those people who think these aren't mistakes, they are mistakes. There is only one incidental 41. So yeah, let's keep it moving. Ow. 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 Oh, uh, morning, Gary. Ew, snail trail. Yucky. But oddly soothing. So we just covered a ton of SpongeBob specials, longer episodes that were like movies just for TV. They didn't go to the theaters or anything like that. But now it's time to talk about some actual SpongeBob movies, Sponge on the Run, which came out recently in 2020, which I really enjoyed, to be honest, especially the Snoop Dogg scene. Take a look at this. It's so funny. I'm going to summarize it for you guys, and then we're going to get right into the mistakes. They're going to eat our brains! <laughs> 
boss dog. Even when I'm on, I'm off, y'all. El Diablo, the haunting, toxic, best that I know. Scary, got no. Hey, yo, SpongeBob, I got a dip. Y'all got this. Now, what's gonna be interesting about these next couple of sections is that Sponge on the Run is 3D animated. So, normally SpongeBob's 2D animated. This is why mistakes are so common, because 2D animation is drawn digitally, which is really hard. 3D animation, on the other hand, is 3D models. So, it's less likely that there's going to be a mistake. However, there's still like a couple of mistakes in this movie, starting with this scene right here, as you guys see. I am here to help you on your journey, SpongeBob. But first, you must accept a challenge. But I just want to find Gary and bring him home. So when SpongeBob says, but I just want to find Gary and take him home, take a look at our boy's belt. Normally, as you can see in this shot, SpongeBob has a black belt, okay? But in this one shot of Sponge on the Run, dude's belt is like brown. It's the same color as his pants. It looks pretty weird and is totally a mistake. Looking at it, it might be due to the lighting or something, but I really do think somehow his belt was just brown in this shot. Weird, but here's another mistake. This one is just a blatant mess up. Octopi. Various and diverse plankton. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, Mr. Eugene Krabs. Tonight I launch evil plan number 3087 and finally take possession of the Krabby Patty secret formula. Listen closely, Grapple Gang. This is another complicated one. So at the very beginning of the movie, we hear a narrator talk about all of the different characters, okay? And at one point, it shows Plankton. And as we can see on this blueprint right here, it's evil plankton plan number 3084. Now, as the movie progresses and when Plankton finally goes to do this evil plan, if you listen to Plankton, he verbally calls it evil plan number 3087. Evil plan number 3087. So this is totally a mistake here. It's actually evil plan number 3084, but I guess the writers messed up and had Plankton say the incorrect line. So this was a blatant mistake here. And here's one more from this movie. I might even speak about how he inspired me when I was just a small time vendor with a broken down luncheonette. I'd probably mention how he encouraged me to start up my own restaurant. You should open up your own restaurant someday. The Krusty Krab, made famous by me delicious Krabby Patties. So the ending of this movie has a lot of continuity errors, but I'm only going to focus on this first one. So there's this flashback of SpongeBob telling Mr. Krabs he should open his own restaurant, okay? And they're trying to say that this is how Mr. Krabs went on to start the Krusty Krab. But in terms of SpongeBob-like lore, this doesn't make any sense. In the season one episode, Hookie, a very iconic episode, and again, it's from season one. So like original SpongeBob, written by the original creator, Steven Hill, rest in peace. In this episode, it shows that the Krusty Krab has been around since at least 1959. No one's taking a break at the Krusty Krab since the Chum Famine of 59. And then, if we take a look at the episode Truth or Square, which we talked about earlier in today's video, it shows that SpongeBob was visiting the Krusty Krab as a baby in around 1986 or 1987. This doesn't look like a family restaurant. Oh, well, what do you think, baby? Would you like to eat here? <laughs> So what is being claimed here in Sponge on the Run about SpongeBob like causing Mr. Krabs to open the Krusty Krab is blatant cap. SpongeBob wasn't even born yet when the Krusty Krab was invented back in 1959, according to Hookie. And we know this because SpongeBob is seen as a baby in like the 1980s in the episode Truth or Square. I can't believe I'm diving this hard into like historical facts about SpongeBob. But yeah, it's it's a mistake, guys. It don't make any sense. The writers were capping on this one. So yeah, uh, SpongeBob did not cause Mr. Krabs to start the Krusty Krab. Now that's going to do it for today's video, guys. But if you want more mistakes just like this video, click this video right here on screen. Do it, click it. Cause I talk about even crazier mistakes over in this video. And hey, if you guys want more like movie or special mistakes like this episode, let me know in the comments and I'll do it again. But for now, click this video and I'll see you guys over there. I love you guys. Subscribe, peace.